Welcome to my studio. This is video number nine. And in this video, we're going to draw this group of horses. This is a photo I took out on the Sioux Reservation in Dakota. And uh, if you enjoy horses, if you like horses, you're gonna enjoy this video. I'm also going to touch on how I scale up from a smaller photograph to a larger drawing. I did that in video number four, but it's been a while since I went through that, so we're going to do it and you know, show you how to do that again. So, <clears throat> if you're ready to draw, let's go. Okay, I've got my photograph. It's seven and five eighths this direction and 10 inches this direction. So I know I want my drawing to be 13 inches high, so I make it, uh, so I wrote a little formula, and this is that algebra stuff that you didn't like and didn't think you'd ever use in high school. So I wrote it as 7.625 over 13 as uh, 10 over X. X is the number I'm trying to find. 7.625 X, you multiply across, so you have 7.625x equals 130. And so to solve for x, then you divide, you want to isolate this x, so you divide by the 7.625 on both sides, and you end up with x equals 17.04. We're just going to round it off to 17. So now I know this dimension and this dimension. And what I did is on the photograph, I divided it into a grid. So I found my center line first this way, and then I found the center between here and here, and here and here, and drew a line there. Then on this axis, I found my center line, and then I found the distance between here and here, found the center, drew a line, the same way over here, and drew a line. So this is drawn up into fourths, into quarters. I did the same thing on this uh, layout right here. Found the center, then divided that in half, and that in half, found the center here, divided that in half, and that in half. So now what I've got is I've got two grids that are in proportion to one another. One on the photograph and one on my drawing. So now what I want to do is transfer this. And the way to do that is just with a uh, kind of eyeball it. You have to sort of guess where this stuff is at, estimate where it's at, because it's not, we're not going to get into that much measurement, that close a measurement. So, like for example, the back end of this pony back here is about halfway across here. So I know it's right about there. And it's about a fourth of the way up on this grid. So it was about there, so I kind of come over like that. So I know, and then I know that the hip comes around here like that, and it's about, about in there. So I'm going to just lightly pencil that in, that hip like that. Now the shoulder is, sits at about the same height as the rump right here. It kind of comes up like that, and then it goes down and just barely above the intersection of these two grids right here. And let's just carry it down just a little bit further. Now I know that the back of the whole pony right here, the back of the horse is going to kind of come around like so, like that. We'll just lightly indicate that. And the tail starts right about there and it sort of flutters out and flows out this way. You can just kind of pencil that in very lightly. And this part right here comes down. We're just, I'm not sure where yet because it's going to be blocked by this horse right here. Okay, so now we're going to do this pony. And the back end of this pony is about a if you divide this up into thirds, it's about two thirds of the way across here. So it's about, about out in here. And it's just below the tail. So it comes around 
like that. Or like this. Let's see, it's more like that. And then the shoulder starts right here. And it will just kind of stop right there at that point. So let me uh, erase this, this old line right here because I don't want that one. Now the back of the hind quarter of this pony comes down here and it's just about halfway at the halfway point here. So it comes down and we stop at that halfway point. The tail is right here and it comes all the way out to the edge. Actually, it's, you see, it's right here at the edge and it comes all the way out to the edge and it kind of swings around. As you can see here, it just kind of swings around and comes about to the, just past the center. So about out here. And then it sort of brushes down like that. And so you can just kind of pencil that in very lightly. We'll come back and make adjustments in all this. Then the other hind leg starts right about there, comes down. This leg comes just a little past that line, and the tendon right here is just about down here where the edge of the mane comes down. And then the leg comes down here, and this is the area that's called the fetlock, and it just kind of comes in like that, and then it comes out to the hoof. And then there's a area that goes up bone. There's two bones in here. There's a gap right there, a shadow in there. And uh, there's a little bit of a arch right here as part of this joint right there. And then there's a muscle that comes up here and it comes into here and sort of joins with that hip area right there. Comes up like this and sort of joins in with that hip. Now the belly starts, you carry that up, the belly comes right about, right about in there. Comes down like this. And let's see, let's get this other leg in here. That's almost a straight line. Not quite. It comes down like this and then to there and then it kind of comes out just a little bit further. And it's almost in line with this other hoof here. It's slightly behind it. But it's very hard to distinguish because they've got a lot of grass down there. And it sort of swells up where that joint is. Okay. So we come up here. And the neck right here just kind of starts just about halfway down that shoulder right there. And it comes around like this, and then the head begins to come about halfway to the halfway point down here, right about there. So it kind of comes down a little bit. You can't barely see it. It flares out here where the eye is, and then it comes down like that, and there's a nose here. The lips across there, a little bit of the mouth underneath. There's a little bit of that jaw that underneath there, and then some part of the muscle right there comes over here. Now there's a big part of the jaw is right here, 
kind of curves up and there's a shadow in this area right here. And well, actually this head comes over a little bit further like that and it comes out like that. So I'm going to take some of that out right there. This is something you do all the time on drawing. You're always looking at stuff as you draw it and checking it for whether it's accurate or if you want to make adjustments. Now's the time to make the adjustments when you're drawing it in with very light pencil. Sometimes people are just starting out drawing. They want to go dark right away. And then when they have a problem and they can't correct it. Okay, now this, there's an ear that sits out here like that. There's another one that sits right back here, just a little, little bit inside the head there. Like that. And there's an eye that's right right there and this jaw is right here at the neck comes up like that and then over and let's see it's more like about like this I'll take this off here this is a little too big right there okay so now we've got a little connective tissue right here and there's a big muscle, part of the neck muscle right here. And uh, you can see in the photo, it's hard to see. You can't see it right there, but I can see it on the photo here. Because there's a big muscle that sits right here that controls that neck. And that runs down like this. Then the skin underneath it, the throat and everything underneath there, comes down here like this. Now you've got a lot of the mane that hangs down over that muscle, so you don't really see it clearly. If you were looking at the horse from the other side, you'd really see that, uh, that mane. Okay. And then you've got a, a the, the, the chest area of the horse is right here. And it sort of comes around like that. And there's a leg that comes out here, this leg right here. What I like to do on something like this is I like to find that point that angle and just run a little line kind of out straight like that very light and we want to check and see where that leg is that hook is it's just a little above so it's right about in there and what this does is it allows you to, to keep that straight because those those joints are going to be in a straight line if you stand and still like that then you can just uh you can uh, start to draw on either side of that. And there's a joint right here that's about in line with this tendon in the back. It's a little bit off there. And then this leg extends up here. needs to be a little lower. I may have that. I'm not sure if I have that. No, it's not too bad. Let's see what it looks like if I put this other leg in here. Well, same thing with this one. I'm going to, it just comes back just a little bit like that. And on this one right here, the fetlock is up, up high like that. Let's see. Let's make sure of that. No, it's down here. And this one is right down. 
down there. And we go up here about the same spot you have your, your joint right there. I'm going to start this leg over here further. Bring that line down like that. Okay. Get rid of some of these excess lines here. This is actually a little thicker in here. All right. So now we've got our first horse. Uh, I don't, something I don't like about this right here. I think that comes up a little bit further up there like that. Then it's like that. Okay, and let's see, I think this neck is more like that. It's a matter of uh, just looking at it and seeing if it looks right. Okay. And this hip right here comes around this way. There's something that doesn't look quite right to me here. I think I'm going to bring these feet down just a little bit further. And I might bring this one down just a little bit further to me. Just because it didn't, the legs just didn't quite look long enough, they were kind of stubby. Okay, now I'm going to put this, uh, actually before I do that, I want to get rid of these grid lines that are in this area that I'm going to be uh, shading because you don't want to get a nice shaded area and have it looking really nice and you spend some time getting it right. And then you go and find out that you've got nice grid lines going right through the center of it. And then you got to erase those and then try to blend everything in again and that just makes for a lot of extra work so let's take these out right here and okay now i want to always you know always kind of get your eraser crumbs out of the way i want to bring this neck down here it comes down like that and that hip comes around like that and I'm going to indicate here where this uh, where these markings are there's one right here and it kind of comes across like that it almost looks like a lightning bolt or something there and then there's one right up here And 
there's a little patch right over here, white. And then the face of this pony, there's a white face on it and it comes down like this around and around here like that all right so now we've got the two horses on this side drawn in so now we're going to work on the two on this other side and i'm going to start with this double right here the hind quarter is about here and so if I bring it around like this, and that leg comes almost straight down, and it's down about in here. Then it kind of goes up like that. And it's kind of hard to see what that exactly what that's doing there, but if I knew a horse's anatomy better, I'd be able to tell. I'm gonna bring that back up here, the shoulder across like this, and now the tail comes right down here and it covers most of that leg pieces of it that go out like this and then it sort of flips in like that and most of that leg is covered by that tail and now the other hind quarter right here hind leg comes across across here like that and that tendon is up here and then that leg comes down this way. And let's see if we can figure out exactly where that's at here. Just a little above there. I think this horse is standing on, well, they were standing on a hillside. So then this kind of comes across here like this. It's a little wider here because of that joint and that tendon back there. I'm just going to put a little line there to indicate there's a tendon there. And then that leg comes up like this. And the hind, the hip, hip area right here, and it comes around like that. And the belly is about out there and the head is about well it's about there so that neck comes down and then like this And then it sort of goes like so. There's the ear that's back here. The other ear is up here. And let's see here. That neck comes down. And then it, this part of the jaw, which was the same area over here, like on that horse, this kind of jaw is right there and it sort of goes into a, up towards the nose. The shoulder actually comes right over here. And there's a leg that comes, that leg kind of comes down like this. And so I bring that down. It's hard to see some of that stuff because it's so many things going on in there. Let's see, that's a bit, I think that neck is just a bit thick right there on the head. Let's see, take that one out. And
Now there's a, a white patch on the face right there. And that's a shoulder. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in the white uh, markings here. Comes all the way across here like that. Almost like a piece of torn, torn uh, rawhide. And then you've got this brown piece right here, this brown spot right there. There's a little bit of white up here. And this pony has a white stocking right there. And I think this is the other front leg sticking out right up here. Okay, so now we've got three of the ponies. And now we can put in this, uh, this last one. And the hip right here is almost in line with this. So, it, and it's above the line here and then slopes down almost to the line. So if it's, and it ends right about in here. So if it comes around like this, and then the back comes up like that, and then down like that on the neck, starting down. Now the tail comes out here from the from the rump area, the, and uh, it comes down, comes down to there, and the okay, Oop, wrong one <laughs> comes down here. That's one thing you always want to keep checking what grid you're working in. Make sure you're in the right grid. Okay, then this hind quarter right here. This hind quarter right here starts just about there. Okay, and this goes up here, a little bit of rise right there, muscle right there, and this leg kind of comes down like right about in here, so bring it down there, this little joint right there. Okay, so now we've got that guy. He's got he's got a front leg here. His legs get all messed up here. Okay, then his head is right coming right down here. Comes like that. And I think it's more like over here. And the neck, you see a little bit the eye ridge there and then the nose comes down here so let's take that line out right there and where is his legs here okay he's got a leg coming down and that is out like that
Actually, it's a little further this towards the head here, I think. Uh, let's see, let's put it right about there. He's got this other leg is just behind there, like that. All right, so now we've pretty much got our, our horses drawn in, and uh, I want to take out some of these grid lines, so I'm going to pause this video here a second so you don't need to watch me racing grid lines. Okay, I'm going to start adding some uh, graphite here just to get a, an overall value and uh, I'm not going for any darks or lights at this point and uh, just give it something to start with here and go out here to the tail a little bit. Down here, same thing. This is a little harder surface than what I've drawn on in the past. This is some arches uh, illustration board. It's got a very nice texture. Let's see this. Don't want to go down into that boot there. I'm going to stay out of the white areas here because I'm just going to have to. I just have to go back and, and erase out, erase all that out. So no sense in doing that. And let's get this up here. This is real light. It's very light in there, almost no value at all but a little bit okay then down here just get the white boot there white stocking i guess they call it or even value here <coughs> Down here, Okay, just to save some time, I'm going to pause the video here and, and go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the horses here. And, uh, so it's just, uh, I'm going to do exactly what I did here, then we'll start again. Okay, I've got the, uh, both sets of horses here, uh, ponies, uh, shaded in with just a, a one value. And so now we're going to start picking out the darks and the lights. And I'm going to start right back here with this pony's tail. I don't know whether they call it a pony or, or a horse. What's the, I don't know what the difference is. I've heard them referred to as Indian ponies. And uh, I don't know what the difference between the, what designates a pony and what designates a horse. Or is this a name for the same thing? Anyway, okay, I'm starting to darken some areas here 
and we will take the uh, kneaded eraser and uh, pick out some areas. Or maybe I'll use the uh, Queen Pearl, either one. They both work. This one's pretty dark back here. Let's see, where does that back come through? I kind of lost it. It's right through there. Okay. And we'll just shade in all that. Is that a nice dark value? And do some blending here. Get rid of all those pencil lines. Well, this tail is quite, quite dark. It's black, black hair. So I'm gonna really put in some uh, graphite here. This is the fun part because now you really start to take on some form. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start to uh, start working on this pony in the front here. If I was a Native American, that's that's the name I'd want. I'd want to be called Pony on the Front. Since I'm not a Native American, I just have to go with Mike. Native people have such interesting names, you know, it makes our names look so boring. Maybe I'd be called Tony with a pencil or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. These ponies were just standing on the side of a hill when we were on the uh, Sioux Reservation in Dakota. We happened to be able to attend a uh, powwow when we were out there. And part of the powwow is they had a celebration of the horse, which is so important to the Native American's culture. And uh, it was really, really interesting to watch. We went to uh, we we attended a, a powwow at St. Joseph School in uh, Chamberlain, South Dakota, and uh, they have a powwow there, to, and they have children that come there from all all the different reservations and uh, attend school there. And uh, they were putting on this powwow, and they had native dancers and drummers, and it was really really quite spectacular. Plus, they have an incredible museum there. There's a little shadow right here, or dark shadow right there where the stomach blocks the sun so you get highlight down there. So I'm gonna really darken this area underneath here. And sometimes you have to blend it in order to see what the value is if you need to change the value. 
It's a little bit easier to, to tell. See, that's when I soften that, I can tell right now that I've got to go darker as you get down here. But it's, it's all a process. Just take it one step at a time. What they say it's like eating an elephant. You take it one bite at a time. Okay, let's get that in there. Right now I'm thinking also of how I want to treat this background because you don't want to have your horses just uh, standing up here and floating in the air. They're actually standing on something on the ground. And uh, the thing of it is, I don't want to make the ground and the background so predominant that it takes away from the horses. And so, uh, you need to figure out how we're going to treat that. And let's see, that's these, these hairs come around here and they sort of brush off right there. And then there's some that come down here. This is real light and this is quite a bit darker. There's a little shadow right in there. And okay. There's a little light area, a highlight right here. I don't know what's causing that highlight there, but it's there, so I'm gonna put it in. Just very subtly like that. And there's a little highlight right up here. Remember the sun's coming in from this direction. So, and of course the top of the the main up here is light. I'm going to need a sharper pencil for that because I want to indicate some of these areas where the the uh, you can see the the uh, neck underneath the main. Don't want to overdo that. Just a little bit. Okay. Get so much pencil lead on my uh, smudge stick here, I can draw with that. Oh, let's see here. I want to go darker around here. Right through there because that tail is blocking the sun. comes down here, right where that muscle is. Here's where that tendon is. It runs up here. And let's blend that a little bit. see. I've got a little, there's a highlight that goes right in through here. You can just use the pink pearl to kind of pick some of that off. And up here on this part of the shoulder, there's a little bit of a highlight right there. The back side of this shoulder right here is quite a bit darker because the sun is being blocked. And there's a dark area right through here because this is shoulder, it kind of sticks out here. So it creates a shadow back here a little bit. Now 
Now on the neck, there's a big muscle that runs right up through here. And as it comes around, there's then the, the skin flattens out right here. And this, you can see a really dark area right there. And of course it's being blocked mostly by the mane. If you were looking at the horse from the other side, you'd really see it. But I'm gonna indicate it in there like that, just kind of. And this area right in through here, it's kind of sunk in. That's a uh, kind of where the, the uh, throat uh, windpipe kind of comes down through there. Okay, like that. And this up here, and that right down here, where the front leg comes up, the belly comes around right there, and it's quite a bit darker down here on this bottom part, because there's no sunlight getting down there, or very little anyway. And... Let's see, kind of darken this. I think I've got that leg a little too far forward. It should be back over here, about like here, maybe. And I think I will. Now's not a good time to have caught that. Should have caught that earlier, but. Let's see if I can erase that out of there. Okay, I've got most of my dark areas in here, and uh, I want to go a little darker than what the pencils that I have will let me do, so I'm going to take a little bit of charcoal powder here and, uh, and add that up here. I realize that's not something you probably have around the house, but but uh, if you're interested in continuing to draw, that might be something you'd want to pick up. You can get it at most art supply stores. It allows you to go a little darker than than what a pencil will do. Some of these areas are so dark right down here because they're not getting any light at all. So. And let's see, there's a little bit over here on this pony. He's got a very dark neck right there where the light's not catching it, not getting any light at all, a dark tail, and then we have this little guy right here, he's got quite a dark tail, I'm drawing up here. And we'll do a little blending of this too, because uh, this makes some of those really dark areas stand out. Okay, 
we'll still go back and still have to go back in and get our highlights yet. So. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, there's a little dark area right here that, and there's some dark right down through there. Of course, the ears are pretty dark. And this area right here. I don't want to overdo it. Now I'm going to try to soften a little bit of that, blend a little bit of it, because that's kind of, you don't want too abrupt a, a change in, in value, unless there's something there that's creating that, like in this area right here. And let's see, I've got to add some more dark areas in this. Let's see, there's this area right in here. And over in here, this head is very dark right down through there. And that's pretty dark in there. And this leg is pretty dark right in there. And same with over here. What I'm doing when I reach over here, I'm getting a little bit of uh, powder on here and then I'm tapping it off onto a little paper towel so I don't have too much on there. Okay, now as you can see that's kind of blotchy right there, so we want to soften some of that. And sometimes it really sinks in, like right here, those spots. I'll have to take a kneaded eraser probably and lift a little bit of that. But okay, now I'm going to clean up some of those edges because it's hard to control that stuff when you've got a big, uh, it's on a big cotton swab. So I want to just get rid of those areas where I've gone over the edge there. Okay. And yeah, there's probably some over here too. Let me see that. Let's see it right there too. That's where this little brush right here comes in handy. You can kind of dust it off, dust off those areas. I don't mind little spots being down here because this is going to get a lot of, there's a lot of texture down here. And so it will blend in with that. And the nice thing about a kneaded eraser is you can kind of flatten little areas like that if you want to pick out just light in a certain area. Like that. Okay. Now there's a pretty good line right through here. It uh, defines that edge. Same with down right up in here. The pretty strong line right there that defines that edge, separates these two ponies. And there's a light area right in there I want to capture. Let's see here. Gotta get the right 
Okay, kind of like that. All right, now I can start to pick out some of these uh, highlights. And up here, there's quite a bit of dappling. I'm just going to kind of tap it with the uh, heated eraser here. I think this is an Appaloosa. I could be wrong, but it looks like it to me. Now I want to, well, let's see. I don't know what I got to do here. I got to put in my the eye over here on this horse and the nose comes around like that okay and then this ear is a little darker in there same with this one and there's a few more dark areas in here Okay, now let's see, let's define that edge right here a little bit. And I'll just put a little highlight on the top of it there, like that. And I want to make sure that I preserve these white areas here, they, they look white. And allow it. It's okay if it's a little shadow under underneath right here because it's going to get more light up here than down here. So it's a little light spot right there. And on this pony over here, I thought that was a reflection on the ear, but looking at it a little closer, I realized it's just some one of these white spots on the side of its head here, or neck. So I'll put that in there. There's another one up in here. This is very white right in there. Head here is kind of in that's in a shadow there. Okay. I want to clean up a little bit of this area. I'm going to add a, uh, a graphite uh, tone with some powder graphite down in here and then pick out some highlights of the grass. And so I need to get my powder graphite here. It's a lot easier to erase powder graphite than it is powder charcoal. So, okay, let's start. Get some of that off there. Okay. And already it starts to look like they've got like they're standing on something. You need to give them you need to give your subject something to stand on, some ground. So they don't look like they're just floating in the air. And we've got some, some shadows that uh, are being cast. Some pretty strong shadows. So. Let 
that kind of blend up there. There's still little things. I'm always looking back at the drawing, even as I'm doing something else right now, I'm seeing little spots of things that I want to correct. Okay. All right, now we can begin to take our kneaded eraser again and uh, start picking out some little areas, some grass and stuff like that. And, uh, you don't see too much of it back there. You get up in here, you start to see a little bit more detail. And let's see, there's some grass in here. Sage is also in there. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this is, this area right here is green. It's got sage in there. That's probably what those horses are eating. I want to. There's a couple of rocks down here, and I just think I'll throw them in there just for fun. That goes in there like that. Uh, there's one over here. Let's see if we can get this drawing down here. Or a photograph down here where you can see this. There's a rock right here. This back side of it is in shadow because it's away from the sun. There's a little rock right in there. And there's some some uh, shadows underneath these this grass here. So we're going to just kind of indicate some of those areas. Again, where you've got a shadow, you've got a highlight somewhere there. So you want to keep an eye out for those things. So I'm just going to put some random marks in here. This is very rocky ground. I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but uh, it looks like Montana, but it's it's not Montana. It's Dakotas. Okay, then there's a shadow underneath here. Shadow oh, right here where this uh, these two bones separate. Put it right there, and there's a little shadow on the back side of this hoof or leg. I mean, and a little bit of shadow underneath there, some there, and right there. This is pretty much all in shadow. Okay. little area underneath the horse there is, is in shadow. There's nice shadows going on there. And I'm going to blend that a little bit. And let's see here. There's a uh, Nice big shadow over here, right? Um, let me get this over here to where you can see it. Okay, there's a nice big shadow right in there. So it kind of comes, and it's a shadow being cast by this horse back here. It goes like that. Doesn't really have much any shape to it necessarily, but it tells you what was casting the shadow, but. And I'm going to try.
try to pick out a few of these little branches right here. See how you can pinch that uh, needed eraser into a nice little sharp edge and pick out some things like that. Okay, now there's another shadow that's right down through here, and that's just because there's a big uh, little gully right there, a little hill, hill that goes down into a gully right here. And uh, that's what's causing that shadow, the backside of that uh, little hill there. That kind of goes up there, kind of goes up in there, and it's back behind here. So, uh, Soften that and then pick out some uh, highlights on there. Okay, same thing here. We're just going to take a little bit of the kneaded eraser and pinch it into a little fine little sharp edge. And I can just uh, do that kind of thing with it. I think I'll bring this down a little bit further here. This sort of shadow goes through here, it kind of comes up into here. And put a few more little lines in there, a little, some of that grass sticking up there. Let's see here. We're almost getting to the, get pretty close to the finished product here. Uh, I say go back and you see little things that you, you want to correct. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's a little bit strong right there. This tail right here, there's a highlight right around that, right on that top edge right there. Like that. And the main is very light up here, it gets a little darker as you go down. And so, uh, get that contrast there. Okay, we're getting there. And let's see, I got another shadow right down in here. A lot of times shadows have a very sharp edge to them. So you want to kind of 
define that a little bit, just in between the graphs here. So the shadow and the light connect. It's usually it's a sharp edge generally. Okay, we have some of these construction lines. It's hard to get out of here because I had to draw them so dark in order for the uh, for them to show up on the on the film on the video here, so. Darken that a little bit. Same with this fetlock right here, I'll darken it a little bit there. You use your finger wherever you get a chance, you know, can you always use your finger to uh, blend something. You don't have to have a blending tool. You've got five of them on each hand. It's amazing, isn't it? Nature thought of everything. Got big blenders and little blenders. Okay, now I could go and uh, begin to put in some more more stuff up in here and that's just really your choice you know if you want to add some things I wouldn't get too crazy up here though because it's gonna your, your center of interest is gonna be this area right in here so you don't really want to pull the eye away from that too much like right here I've got some rocks and stuff like that and, and uh, that, I, that might even be too much but uh, we can soften this white area up here. And it'll give us something to, you know, to uh, pick out the uh, details with. You know, this horse has got a white area right here by the nose too, and it's getting a lot of light as it sort of sticks out. He's got his head turned around this way. So I wanna put in a little bit more light there. Okay, and down there. And I can put some grass in these different places. Like I said, you can really go quite crazy with this uh, background stuff and might want to put everything in there but I'm not sure I want to do that all right I think I'm about at a stopping point okay this is the end of uh, video number nine thanks for joining me I hope it was fun I hope you learned something and uh We'll see you on video number 10.